In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. A fortnight ago, my brother Mark died at the age of 72. Young by modern standards, but five years older than his life expectancy at birth in 1948. All the decades of his personal drama, of ambitions fulfilled and thwarted, of relationships made, some later broken, of successful money-making, he became very rich, of pains and pleasures, and of heroic amounts of alcohol consumed. All that came to a quiet end behind a plastic curtain in the Dorset County Hospital. Or perhaps it wasn't the end. Although an agnostic for much of his life, Mark acquired a kind of blurry Anglicanism in his last years, which grew increasingly real and clear. And Christianity teaches that life on earth is only the first act in a drama with further acts. Mark, as a soul, is now asleep in heaven, where he will remain for perhaps millions and billions of years under the watchful care of the risen and ascended Christ. Then, when time ceases, heaven and earth will be reunited and Mark will awaken with a heavenly body, akin to the risen and ascended body of Christ. <clears throat> Mark will then dwell for all eternity in this united earth and heaven. <clears throat> if your outlook, like the outlook of most other Westerners, is under the sway of materialism, which teaches that everything ultimately is matter, then the Christian account of death and life is utterly fantastical. As a result, most people, including many churchgoers, either reject it or don't even examine it. I have the good fortune of having come to Christianity via Hindu philosophy, which teaches us that everything is ultimately mind, a view held now by many thoughtful physicists. So when I encountered the Christian teaching about death, resurrection and ascension, I found it quite plausible. And I think the notion of the universe and ex as, a, as expression of the mind of God is rooted in the Bible. So, in celebrating the ascension, I embrace the prospect that when earth is united with heaven, I shall meet Mark again. I don't wholly welcome this prospect as we spent our childhood years squabbling. But we got on much better in recent times. And besides, in the united earth and heaven, all shall be at peace. <clears throat>